Hello everyone, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we will be comparing the Redmi Note 3 with the Lenovo Vive X3 not actually comparing the phones, actually comparing the chipsets as you can see the Redmi Note 3 that we have in front of us it is the Snapdragon 650 variant and the Lenovo Vive X3 comes with Snapdragon 808 so in this video we will be comparing these two chipsets on these two phones so we will be running N2 benchmark because into to benchmark is the whole benchmark so first of all we'll have a look at the specs so both the phones have 3 gigs of ram both the phones are running on hexagon processors the 650 in the redmi note 3 and the snapdragon 808 in the lenovo vibe x3 so we will be uh, running into to benchmark uh, a lot of times on this and checking out which phone gets heated up which phone can uh, maintain the scores and everything uh, related to the scores and the stability of the performance and is snapdragon 650 really an upgrade so this is the test one so i will be fast forwarding most of the process so as you can see the first scores are 74000 and 69000 now i will do the second test And the second one is 73 and 68 and now it's time for the third one so after the third one we still have similar performance 70 with 70,000 plus and 68,000 fourth test So now we see that uh, Redmi Note 3 has uh, 69 and uh, the Vive X3 is still uh, over 68. So we'll test it again, the fifth test. So we do see a little bit of performance drop in the Redmi Note 3 or the Snapdragon 650. We we'll see it again. And in this uh, 650 is again back with the uh, 70,000 or 70,000 club. But the Vive X3 is uh, stable and uh, performing over 68,000. We'll do the test again. After this test, we can see that it's 71,000 for the 650 and 68,000 for the Snapdragon 808. So the performances uh, are uh, similar and not a lot of uh, fluctuation. Uh, just 650 just went once uh, below uh, 70,000. We'll test it again. So this time 650 is uh, below 68 and uh, 68,000 and uh, the 808 is still in 68,000. So 808 is performing a lot better in the stability point of view. It has been uh, performing from the start uh, around 67 to 68,000. Where else the Redmi Note 3 with 650 has dropped a little bit in this one. We'll perform the benchmark again. So in this we I will also be testing out the temperature. So as you can see the 808 uh, went over 44-45 degrees and the 650 is not, not even 60, 41 degrees. So as you can see 46 degrees for the, the 808. So it is getting very hot uh, according to me and then according to anyone Snapdragon 808 is uh, getting hot compared to Snapdragon 650 which is just uh, about 42 degrees Celsius. So that is uh, a good thing with 650. So as we can see 650 is 68,000 and 808 is uh, 68,000. We'll perform it again for the ninth time.
so in the ninth one we see the 650 just uh, 64,000 and the 808 uh, over 68,000 so the performance is dropping on a lot on the 650 we also check out the temperatures of both the phones and we see that 39 on the 650 where else we see 44 45 degrees in temperature on the vive x3 or the 808 so we'll do another test So we'll do another test and uh, in this we have 66,000 for the 650 and again 68,000 for the 5x3 or the Snapdragon 808 and in the temperatures point of view 42 degrees for the Snapdragon 650 where it's uh, over 45, 46 degrees for the Snapdragon 808 so it is getting very hot so we'll switch off both the phones now and come back in about 20-22 minutes to do that again so first of all we check the temperature so we will switch on the phones and also check the temperature so nothing over 32 degrees on both the phones so it is at room temperature now so we'll test it again so after this test uh, you could see that it scored over 46 in the first one and uh, in this uh, we'll uh, test it again and the second one it scored over uh, 73,000 so the Vive X3 is performing very decently with uh, constant scores over 67 to 68,000 which are pretty impressive for sure and uh, in this video I just uh, tried to run a lot of benchmarks I guess about 11 times I ran into two benchmarks on the Vive X3 it did uh, perform very decently it didn't fluctuate a lot in this post performance compared to the, the snapdragon 650 where it did uh, fluctuate a little bit when it was stretched a lot but uh, in overall performance wise both the phones will perform uh, great uh, in any daily usage but if we talk about the raw performance the snapdragon 650 is actually a upgrade of uh, snapdragon 808 but uh, snapdragon 808 is a little bit better on the stability point of view but snapdragon 650 is a lot better on the heat management point of view where we saw 650 not crossing 42 degrees and the snapdragon 808 crossing 46 47 degrees so that was a big difference in overall qualcomm has done a very good job in making the snapdragon 650 yes the, the heat management is pretty good and uh, we can expect some throttling but not a huge throttling and any game will run on these phones uh, very nicely so yes snapdragon 650 is a uh, upgrade to snapdragon 808 so thank you guys for watching this video this was sharon here from 24 7 techie and do like this video do hit the subscribe button and uh, do share this video if you re really liked it and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya